All right, welcome back to yet another video in my latest series. It's the third person shooter series. We've just, we're, we're in the middle of setting up the uh, animation blueprints and uh, stuff like that. I decided I'm not gonna do jumping at this point, so be mostly because the animation is ugly, but let me know if you want some, yeah. I'm not sure why we want some jumping animation to talk tutorials as it's already set up with the normal blueprint just exchange the animations but in resident evil which i'm uh, inspired by while making this series you do not jump so i'm gonna be grounded here as well we we'll, might do some dodging though uh, just because it's cool but uh, yeah we're gonna go with this for now and uh, this is what we have so far we're gonna set up some crouching now i think because we will probably do some sneaky stuff as well and uh, so we'll start by crouching and i had something else in mind let's do crouching at least um so yeah as always let me know if you have any other ideas that would you would want me to include and please like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I've been good at remembering to say that lately. Anyway, so let's do C or control C key. Let's do C. Uh, we're gonna start by setting the movement speed by pressing C. It's gonna be slow. It's gonna be 150. By releasing C, it's gonna go back to 450, right? So, first we set the move speed, then we have another variable called is no we're gonna do this different we're gonna do this better we're gonna delete this we're actually gonna go back to our blueprint uh, or our third person uh, character we are gonna make a new folder called structs bare enums We are gonna do a blueprint enumeration. It's gonna be called E underscore movement type. Mm, maybe we could do player state, no. Let's do movement type. We might rename this later, but let's do movement type for now. E underscore movement type. and make this variable of the type of the enumeration that we just made. So, on the, okay, we're gonna do this better. We're gonna do this good. So, okay, when we, this is gonna be a rep notify. Yes, for now it is gonna be a rep notify. So in our replicated functions, we want to do a server set, no, we want to do a custom event called server set movement type. We could actually improve this a little bit. Mm, if we want to make these so from the service at movement type we're gonna set this is gonna be a run on server and this is one way to replicate so when it's a rep notify run on the server it's always gonna be run on all clients when they connect so whatever logic we have inside of the rep, rep notify will be replicated so I could actually replicate this in there as well but we're not going to do that for now uh, 
So in the e movement type, we have normal. We could do sprinting and stuff like that here as well, but we're not going to do that now. We're just going to do this and crouch. There we go. So, oops, sorry. I was looking for characters to use in this. So, when we press C, uh, the event graph, when we press C, we're going to set the movement speed. Well, we're also going to do server set movement type. And it's going to be crouching. And it's going to be normal when we release. And now we can also do a check here. So we can only sprint if the movement speed is already normal. And we can only unsprint if it's also normal, because if we didn't plug this in here, we could crouch and then we could release. Because if we do start crouch, we would be crouching and we would be sneaking. And then if we released shift, we would go back to 450 movement speed. So that's why we need to check here. So now we can only sprint if we aren't crouching. And there is actually not. We could do the same here. We could add the sprinting here as well. But if we, oh yeah, sorry. This needs to be normal by default. So you can see, so now we, we, can, we can still go directly from sprinting to crouching now, which is actually quite nice. So we're gonna keep that. So we're not gonna check that before. Uh, and when we set the movement type at crouching, we need to set the blend space somehow in our animation blueprint. And there are several ways to do this. You could, you could update here on the update animation. The problem with that is that this keeps ticking. So it's actually a tick function. So it's not the best thing is to make your project event based. So you don't want to use this update animation too much. I see a lot of people do that all the time. So what we want to do is we want to go into our player third person character and our master third person character. And we still want this because we, we might use this for AI stuff later. Uh, but on the begin play, we're gonna make a begin play because we didn't already have that. Uh, we are gonna get an instance And we're gonna cast to play to master third person animation blueprint. We're gonna promote it to a variable and we're gonna call it animvp ref. Now we have a reference to our animation blueprint. So that's good. And I usually do collapse this to a node as well because eventually you might sometimes end up with a lot of logic on your begin play, so you want it as a separate node. It's just easier to keep track of stuff. Um, and now we have a reference to our animation blueprint. In our animation blueprint, uh, in our animation graph, we have this idle run. And I'm actually gonna delete the jumping because we don't need jumping. And I'm gonna go back in here. You can keep your jumping if you want to, but I'm not going to. So I'm gonna go into my character again and I'm gonna find the jump. And I'm actually gonna delete the jump input altogether. So now we can't jump. 
Actually, I'm not, because we might do a Dark Souls style jump or something. I'm not sure. I'm just going to keep it there for now. Um, so, in our animation blueprint, we have our idle run state. In our animation graph. Mm, we also want a movement type node here. And by default it's normal, but we're gonna get this and we're gonna switch on a movement type. Uh, blend. Uh, there we go. Okay, not switch. So, hmm. blend by enum movement. There we go. Movement type. So, this is the one that we just made. So, we want to blend by the movement type. And right now we have normal and we have the crouching. So we're gonna do normal. And we're gonna do crouching. Actually, this doesn't need, we don't, we can just do it as the blueprint right now. So, uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. we have our retargeted animations. I already retargeted some crouching animations that I'm gonna use. Basically, I just copied the uh, unarmed blend space but this one is only going to go up to 150 on speed and it's going to be zero and we're going to delete all the leaning nodes and it only needs to use actually one because we are either crouching or we are idling so for the idle it's going to be the crouch idle and for the walking it's going to be the walk forward and that actually, maybe we should do 200. So now, if we go into our animation blueprint again, I'm sorry if I'm clicking fast, it's because I'm actually confused as well because all of the tabs are so dark so I, can, I can't really see any difference between them. because I call on my stuff master so it all looks the same so in the animation blueprint we want from the crouching we want the speed we don't actually need the rotation for this one but we'll do that and I'm actually gonna collapse it <coughs> oh, okay uh, Steal. I'm gonna copy these. Make a new state called crouching, and this is the output animation. There we go. So now we have a state for crouching. So now we need to update this one whenever we crouch, and we can do that from this function here because now we already we created this animation blueprint reference set movement type so whenever we do whenever we call this function server set movement type we're gonna update this one which will update in here because we're gonna set it to the same on the animation blueprint So 
So that means that if we press C, you can see that we're crouching. And since it's crouching, what we could actually do, I think I'm going to do uh, I'm going to do a flip flop here instead. And that makes it so that we can actually toggle the, the crouching instead. So I'm just pressing it once, pressing it again, pressing it once, pressing it again. So if we're sprinting, we can go straight to crouching, but we can't sprint from the crouching. We actually have to manually drop the crouching. So yeah, that's it. Now we have some sneaky stuff going on as well. We can probably do something with that later uh, to avoid some enemies or something. And yeah. So let's check if everything is replicating because I forgot to do that in the last one. Net mode. Uh, listen server. And we have a client. Uh, can I make this smaller? There we go. And okay. Oh, we need a player start, I think. Uh, where do I get stuff like that? Can I duplicate this one? Bum, bum, bum. Where is the... Where do I add stuff? Uh, create. Okay. Player start. There we go. Okay. Uh, is it because of the details? Uh, world details. Uh, world window. World settings. Game mode. Hmm. Bum, 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 bum. There we go, perfect, better. So the issue was we didn't have a game mode. So find the uh, world settings. You can find it here. Window world settings, if you don't have it, you need, we renamed it to master before master third person game mode and you need to have the default pawn status the pawn that you want to have so there we go now we can see that the client is sprinting and we are crouching it's good and for the server crouching sprinting Good. So it seems to work. Quite nice. Perfect. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, if I missed something. I am uh, super confused about Unreal Engine 5, but it's pretty funny to use it. So it's going to be nice to, the more you use it, I guess the more you will get used to it. Uh, as always, please like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have a question or whatever, and uh, yeah, see you in the next one.